Hi, right, tell us something to enjoy something news. You need to get down, please. Oh, sorry, my dog's up there because I. It's Thanksgiving, by the way. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And get down! And I just haven't gotten to eat my food yet. I just want to make this video first. So, we're going to be doing a quick overview of my desk. Yeah. What do you want? So, let's start off over here. So, right here on the side of my desk is my Gateway NV55C, which is my school laptop. And, uh, my school's too cheap to give out laptops, nor they allow you to bring your own laptops to school. So, uh, it's just, I'm so awesome. I have, like, just about every single connection in all my schools. I have, like, so many connections back in the middle school. I could literally do anything I want and get away with it because that's how freaking awesome I am. High school, not so much anymore, but I still get away. I can, like, skip class and wave to the security guards, and they won't even care. that, And they won't even know that I'm skipping class. They just wave back at me. <laughs> but, of course, with that kind of power comes responsibility. And, obviously, I don't skip class, so... Um, anyhow, right here, let's start off over here. I need, I'm hopefully getting a new monitor for Christmas, but this is my Dell EP117, um, monitor. Also, if you may notice, Windows 7, uh, built 7601. This copy of Windows is not genuine. That is a problem. I'm just too lazy to really register Windows at this moment, so I just could care less about that. Alright, so right here we have my Logitech K260 uh, keyboard slash mouse, and the thing I really like about this mouse is it's completely spill-proof. I mean, not the mouse, the keyboard is like literally spill-proof. You spill it on, you spill anything on this keyboard, it will literally go straight through it, and it will have no problem. Which, knowing me, I do eat at my desk a lot, and which, well, let's just say all the time. I eat at this place like all the time. This room in general, even though no matter how trashed it is, it is basically my apartment. Let's just say that. So I pretty much do a lot of things in here. Um, so yeah. So this is a really reliable keyboard and mouse. Also, and the reason why it's wireless is because um, I usually sit on my bed and I'll watch videos on YouTube through my TV right here. So it's it's pretty cool. So right here, we have my Toshiba Satellite L755. Um, this computer has been through so much, to be honest. It has never ceased to disappoint me. No matter how cheaply made it was and how Chinese it was, it just held through, which, considering its built quality was not the best, it did make it through a year of school. And trust me, when this thing was done through that year of school, it was totaled. Let's just say the battery was shot um, the screen was completely cracked to hell. I ended up just punching it while I was on Skype with TSL Tyler. And TSL Tyler, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I removed the screen. And uh, once the school year was over, I just basically used this thing for home use. And now I use the HDMI and the VGA. The VGA for this and the HDMI for this. And by the way, I know that the resolution is not correct. There's something up with this TV that does not allow it to format correctly to the display. I am aware of that. I'm just not in the mood to fix it currently. Um, I, fitted, I filled with it one whole day, well, like an hour straight, and I got it, but then it just reverted itself, and I can't remember how it got there, and I just I don't want to screw with it anymore. So, yes, now the... Trackpad and keyboard do no, do no longer work on this machine, so it was only best then to just use the guts or the motherboard in it and just convert it to a desktop, which it, this thing, I somehow managed to overclock to 3 gigahertz, which was an amazing thing that uh, it didn't burst into flames in the first 10 seconds I did that. Yeah, it's overclocked to 3 gigahertz. That's something I have never done before on a Pentium R. It's pretty... That's pretty impressive. I've never done that on this kind of a computer. And most nerds would say it's impossible. Well, I did it, okay? I'm not going to prove it now, but I guarantee I have done it. I've also upgraded the RAM to 16 gigabytes. It was originally 6. This thing came with about 3 or 4, something like that, but I put in 6. And I said to myself, if this thing lasts a month of school, I will upgrade it and soup it out. Well, it didn't last a month of school. The hard drive got shot, and I said, you know what? So 
So I put a new hard drive in that shot, and I said, you know what, this is becoming ridiculous. I'm going to put an SSD in here, and that should do. Well, the SSD has been long since removed and put in this machine, since it's my school computer, and trust me, that SSD has come in handy. I have dropped this uh, one time on purpose to demonstrate how SSDs can handle it. I've actually, bam, punched it really hard just to demonstrate the SSD, which I kind of regretted it because it knocked the SSD out of place and I kind of crashed the computer, but uh, I was able to fix that with my spare tools I have in my bag. I always carry emergency tools in case something like that happens. But that's not the point here. The point is this thing is upgraded to 16 gigabytes. It does not have that fancy hard drive in it. It's only a standard 360 gigabyte a Western Digital uh, Blue Scope or something like that drive. It's a SATA drive, so it does not work the best, but it does get the job done considering I don't use this laptop or this desktop for much. Besides, usually Skype commonly and web browsing, other than, and sometimes Roblox. Yeah, I play Roblox in here, but. Other than that, I don't really use this for much. Even though it has the dual monitor display, which is coming, uh, I, just to demonstrate with you, um, oops, wrong button, um, that this is a dual monitor display, and sorry for the refresh rate, but as you might be able to see, it is a dual monitor display. <sighs> of course, I cannot live without that, but I just do not use this much. I have been using it a lot lately for, um, okay, that refresh rate's annoying. I have been using it for certain stuff, but yeah, so let's just move on. Um, right here I have my Xbox 360 uh, Slim. Now this actually gets red ring a lot, and I have not a clue why it just does. Uh, even though it's a Slim, but it recovers out of it fast. It's just when you try to shut it off or um, you're lagging really bad, it just gets red ring. It's something I have not yet figured out, but other than that, it's fine. It has no problem. My root beer lamp, by the way, my used to be powered root beer lamp. Uh, oh yeah, over here I have my ghetto radio set up. And down here I have my Netgear router, my new Motorola modem, which is not as fast as my old, uh, my Cisco, which that only lasted like a week, and my, um, my D-Link, which my D-Link was my, by far my favorite, it lasted me a couple of years, but this one hasn't proved itself unreliable, nor has it proved itself that reliable. My cable box, and of course my Macintosh Classic which, of course, no one can see that I would not have this on my desk. I just love this thing so much. It's, it is virtually useless now, but it's still really nice to have, especially when you want to have a flashback uh, blast of the past. Um, if you do notice, it is OS 7.0.1, which is the original OS 7. Uh, this thing does have it very laggy, though. It is not good. This machine, is, for its time, is very old. When this machine was first made, it was completely obsolete, but, you know, still, it's still obsolete, obviously, but, you know, I, it's still pretty cool to have this thing. Besides, I can always screw around with the, the paint program and stuff on here, even though I don't have much games. I'm planning about getting more games. So right here we have my Gateway E-Series, um, I think it's 3,400. Uh, I haven't used this machine much anymore because it had a, a massive cooling fan issue where I stuck my finger in the cooling fan and it chipped a piece off the cooling fan so now when it the cooling fan spins up which is like almost all the time because this thing runs so damn hot it literally vibrates all over the place and it's really noisy and it's really annoying but if you do notice I put a uh, SCSI CD DVD drive in this excuse me and SCSI DVD drives are not that easy to find SCSI, especially SCSI DVD drive. So I was lucky to put one of these in. It does run fine. This DVD drive does have an opening and shut problem. The whole thing comes out. I'm not sure why it does that. It does work fine other than that. Like this whole case, this whole drive, this whole uh, tray, this tray comes out. And I'm, <laughs> it, other than that, it runs fine. Um, and by the way, I have my um, speakers, my 2.1 surround sound. Moji Bear 5567, I know you're going to comment on that saying that's really lousy, but hey, you know it works at this moment. I am planning, and I know this is going to sound pathetic, I'm trying maybe to get Logitech, I'm not sure. I don't really like Logitech that much. Their wireless keyboards and mouses, I do like. They're really nice when it comes to that, but I don't really like their speakers. They're kind of overpriced and kind of really not worth it. This was a uh, Gigaware, and it was definitely worth the price for $19 to get a uh, subwoofer, even though it does not sound 
the treble is not good, but the bass on that thing, even though it is a tiny woofer, does exceed a lot. And my old TV, which I got for Christmas years and years and years ago. And my Apple Desk Pro, or not Desk Pro, whatever the hell, it's a uh, Apple Keyboard Pro uh, keyboard. And I did have two of these and two mouses that came with this, but I don't know where they went. Uh, it's probably somewhere, I don't know. And I have this Microsoft Wireless mouse, which... Of course, everyone loves those. I really love these keyboards. I use these keyboards. I had, like, almost three of these. Uh, I had three. One was at school, and two of them were here. And I had two of those mouses. I love them. The only problem with the mouse is that it didn't have a right click. But um, these were very nice. It's just the fact that I these are really good for machines you have like this that don't have USB ports on the front. And this would be good because you can literally plug in a flash drive. Unfortunately, the only downside of these of this keyboard is the fact that it does not handle flash drives very well you need like a high speed 4.5 or some shit like that just to run this keyboard just to run a flash drive it needs to be a high powered usb port um to support this and two flash drives i think it has to be like a 3.5 port to support those but hey you know it works and i don't really have a problem with that and that mouse. So, let's moving on down here. I have a Dell Optiplex GX270. This was my data rack at one time that controlled um, my printing and everything, but it recently, I got it working. This is my grandma's co-worker she brought home from work, and as sad as it is, I got it working, and then the motherboard just completely shot itself, and I have not yet figured out what did. There's something on the board, like, it has to be like a processor or a uh, co-processor on the board that went shot and I haven't figured out what but I guarantee it I will find out eventually and once I do it will replace this by the way this is my Hewlett Packard Vetrica VL400 the last time this actually if you may notice is a black CD drive that was in here I just swapped them because well that machine's really old and Windows Media Player installed on that does not support DVDs um, which kind of sucks because if it did, I, I guaranteed, well, probably not because this machine doesn't have sound hooked in, but if it did, I guaranteed I'd be watching DVDs using this because I'm not really a big fan of the Xbox media thing. Um, I'm not much of a gamer on PC, I just like to play on an Xbox. Anyhow, this is running Windows XP Professional, even though it's not a main, I don't think you consider it a data rack, although it does run, um, it does control the printers in the house, it controls main linking of the it controls the linking of the XP machines and the seven and machines the seven uh the Vista and up machines from the uh XP and down machines so this thing definitely does convert that and now it works because of this and if it weren't for this machine none of those would be converted and we this whole network would be all over the place like nothing would be connected but it is an XP machine although it is handling Windows 7 and I not it's not handling Windows 7, but it's it the software not the software, but the networking compatibilities do somewhat work with seven and I just made that work as much as I can. Over here we have a compact desk pro gutted out. There is nothing in this thing. Same with here, but there's a motherboard in here. Uh there is some of a motherboard in here, but it's just gutted out. There's no power supply, there's no uh, drives, there are nothing in here, just a board, the processor has been pulled out, this thing is a Pentium 2, uh, this was once an XP machine too, yeah, I know, a joke, a Pentium 2 with not even 512 megabytes of RAM, that's ridiculous, and this thing was incredibly slow, it only had like a freaking, a freaking 8 gigabyte drive, and I just said to myself, I can't use this machine for much, it is just that old. And I ended up putting, well, I had an XP when I got it. These two came together. Uh, I brought them home one at a time. And this was came with this, and this came with a really huge monitor that I said, I, there's no way I'm bringing that monitor home, no matter how nice it is. It has, that monitor was made for security, too. It had, like, it had an option to switch over the CCTV, uh, the special CCTV inputs. It would switch around, and it was really cool, but too bad because I could not, get that monitor it was just way too big and it was a CRT too and bad enough that would this almost broke my back on the way home on the bus yes on the bus as ridiculous as it is I brought this thing and these things home on the bus not all at once of course but that's not the point here and yeah 
So, this thing, it died, something in the motherboard failed, and I said, screw it, I, there's no way I'm going to bother to fix this machine. It is just, beyond belief, horrible. So, and it's really obsolete, even more obsolete than this thing, but this is a Pentium 3, and this is like a Pentium 3 over, it's clocked to 800 megahertz, which is not the best, but it's not the worst for Pentium 3, so I definitely have to say, this actually has two hard drives in it. It has a 8 gigabyte hard drive, and it also has a 40 gigabyte drive that I installed because the original IBM Death Star drive that was in here just completely shot itself, even though it was a really fast hard drive. I don't even know how many RPMs it was, but it was like almost the highest RPMs you can get in an older hard drive, but I ended up putting in that 8 gigabyte hard drive because that 8 gigabyte hard drive saves every backup for my school computer and well this did have it hooked in but I disconnected it but this hooks in the main laptop in the kitchen and the I mean the living room and that laptop and it saves on to there when it's connected and every Saturday or Sunday at 3 a.m. I can't remember I might have it switched around it saves on there, it deletes the old file, and it saves on there, which is kind of cool, actually. I don't even remember how I got it to do that, but, yeah, this thing does have a lot. Okay, let's move on to a different concept. There's a subwoofer, by the way, and this is a TV, it's an Emerson, and that's an Emerson, too, but this is an older Emerson, VCR and CRT TV. I was going to use this, but it, as soon as I got it for my neighbor, apparently something got shot in the flyback transformer or something, and now you can hear it like the hertz of the CD of the power supply but you do not even th the tube itself doesn't even come on you like if you push the power button you can hear like the flyback transformer and all the capacitors charge up but you just the tube does not come on so I have no clue to know what the problem is I've only kept this because I I only kept this because I wanted to use it as a monitor and I think I might know what the problem is I'm just too lazy to get the parts for it Damn, this video is almost 20 minutes. That's ridiculous. All right, let's move on here. This is my Canon um, MP like 280 or something like that. It is a scanner, a faxer. It is also a uh, copy machine. It's everything. This is a really nice machine. Unfortunately, this is connected to that pr this computer right here, and this is a Windows 7 printer. So just keep that in mind that it's running off of a really old, 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 old XP machine, which somehow, I don't know how, I got it to download the drivers and it works, and now, sadly, my desktop here, it's having issues where it does not connect to this, but I know this machine right here is connected to this to print, the one out in the living room is connected to this to print, and that one's connected to this to print, but this one has some kind of compatibility issue where it's not connecting to the network, even though it's on the network, it just does not see any of the devices, and the device is not just doesn't see that. Um, it must be some kind of an IP failure or something. I have no clue. I just have to figure it out later. I just I don't like playing around with stuff. If it works, I honestly don't give a damn. Let's just put it there. But pretty much everything in this house is networked, and that's just about it. I really have nothing else to talk about, even though this video this video was like so long. Um, by the way, um. In case of you that are all wondering, I'll list out what this, what these are. That's Windows 7. This is Windows 7. That's Mac OS 7. Not Windows 7. OS 7. This is uh, Windows XP. Windows XP. Windows XP. Windows XP. Most of my computers in here are XP. And uh, I have to admit, even though XP is probably about to go obsolete and they're killing the services to it, or well, I think they already did kill the services. Which well, don't get me wrong, Windows XP was an awesome operating system. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and I'm gonna have a hell of a lot of time uploading this, even though I have like really strong connection and it's really fast. Like a a two minute video would probably upload in less than a minute, uh, which is really awesome. But still, even this is like a 20 minute video, it's gonna take multiply two minutes by a minute, and sh well, you get the point here the point is it, it's just it's going to take a long time to upload so I'm just going to end the video right here at two, 20 minutes it's ridiculous but happy Thanksgiving everyone and tune in for the next desk tour which will be on spring of 2014 which will probably I will have a LCD monitor there and an LCD monitor there and probably this might get moved around over to here 
Okay, this is ridiculous. I barely have any memory on here now, but thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, everyone. Talk to you later.